everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Dollar Tree DIY and it's going to be this really cute mason jar soap dispenser. But first I'm going to show you the items that I'm going to be using. The first item is this mason jar, this empty soap dispenser, some Rafa ribbon, a nail, a hammer, a marker, and a glue gun. And some needle nose pliers, or you could also use some wire cutters. I just want to say this is not an original mason jar, but it is um, like a mason jar, and I purchased this at the Dollar Tree. I'm sure that you've seen them before. Okay, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove the lid from my jar. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a circle using the top of the soap dispenser. So I'm gonna get my marker and just make a ring around. Okay, so now I'm done making the ring around the lid, and this is exactly what I was wanting to do. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put the lid back on my jar, and I'm gonna get my nail and my hammer, and I'm going to make holes all around that ring. I found that using the nail and the hammer was much easier and I had better control. That's why I didn't use a hand drill. The nail pierces the lid really easy and it's not hard at all. Okay, so this is how it looks like the first time around. Okay, now I'm gonna go the second time around and this time I'm going to make holes between the two holes. And here I'm just showing you how it looks once I've gone the second time around. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my pliers to finish popping off that circle. And the pliers are really easy to work with just to remove the edges that are still attached. I basically just bend and it pops right off. You can also use some wire cutters as well. And there you go, the circle just pops right off. Okay, so here I'm just showing you how the soap dispenser is gonna go through the top of that lid. And I'm just gonna be using the very top area and I'm gonna use my marker to mark off where I'm going to saw off that top part of the soap dispenser. Once I'm done marking it off, I'm gonna take my hand saw and I'll be sawing off the top part. Okay, so I'm done and I just wanna show you how it'll look afterwards. I left a little lip around the bottom of the threads because I'm gonna be putting some hot glue and that way it can adhere better to the lid and it won't wiggle around. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add some hot glue all around that lip that I was talking to you about. And I'm also going to put some hot glue all around the bottom part and that's just to reinforce it like I said so it doesn't wiggle around. Okay I'm done now with the lid and this is how it looks. And just to give the jar just a little bit of a decorative touch, I'm going to put some of that Rafa ribbon at the top of the jar. Or you can opt to use whatever kind of decorative ribbon that you have on hand. And now I'm just going to assemble everything together just so you can see how it looks once it's complete. I really love how this little jar turned out. You can also put your lotion in here, not just your soap, but there you go, I'm done. Well, there you go, my mason jar soap dispenser is complete. And I have to say that it really came out really pretty and cute. This is the first time that I had attempted to do something like this, but I wanted a farmhouse style soap dispenser. So I decided to do this DIY. So I hope that you enjoyed this DIY. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and also share, I'd really appreciate it. And also, if you decide to make something like this, please tag me on it, I'd love to see it. Also, this can be used for also for your favorite lotion but anyhow that is it so you have yourself a blessed day and i will see you on my next diy bye bye and god bless